Some of you young whippersnappers might not remember that NZXT back in the day had some decent power supply units. We'll take it from an old whippersnapper. They've got a decent power supply unit now. All right, let's highlight what I'm really enjoying about this unit. And then let's also point out a few things that I think could go for some improvement. So for starters, I mean, all around though, I really like the looks of this unit. Granted, it's a fairly simplistic design, but it looks great. I don't think there's anything wrong here. So if this was in your build facing you, if you've got it here, you'll see that the labeling, if you put the fan in, is upside down. And same thing though, if you flip it up right side up. So I don't know if that was just because maybe my cover got put in backwards for some reason, but I can't really tell. It looks like the screws are offset. So I think that might have just been a minor, minor misstep. But yeah, normally you'd have this side facing you with the fan down and the NZXT A E850 labeling is, well, it's upside down. So that's kind of a minor thing. But I mean, I like the purple labeling. That's always one of my favorites there for NZXT. Um, when we come to our connections here, I don't see anything that you can accidentally plug in. I mean, your CPU connectors are only going to go in your CPU slots, your PCI and your PCIs, et cetera. So yeah, that's good. Always want to see that. Um, I also, you know, as usual, if we're going to be including NZXT software and stuff, we're going to have a USB 2.0 plug in. And then this guy plugs into the unit right here. So that's not too shabby there, not much of a cable that you have to manage, and that allows you to, to get to the digital monitoring. So one of the huge things that I really enjoyed about these cables is I love the fact that NZXT went with this bundled black sleeving on it. So we've still got all black wire, and that is good because it just looks sharp, but then it comes into a nice round bundle that will be pretty darn easy to cable manage. I like that. They did that on the PSU and the CPU connections, but when we get to our Molex and our SATA connections, we're back to this ribbon cable. And I'm a little bummed about that. Although the fork wire though is not nearly as hard to manage, so it's not like a huge deal, I kind of wish the sleeving was uniform on all the cables. Um, but yeah, I mean, all considering, that's not a huge deal, especially since you're never going to really see those cables if you manage them right anyway. Also, if you'll notice, that little floppy drive power connector is nowhere to be found. Thank goodness, NZXT. There's no, who's going to really use those? And if you're going to use that on a very rare occasion, why don't you just get an adapter so you have it on hand anyway? So yeah, that's kind of all the cabling there and that's what I really like. More highlights, you can go on to my, I'll have a review up on hardware on hwhound.com and I'll have more pictures if you want to see some more details. Um, but performance wise, well, this unit does probably everything that you would expect. I had amazing voltage control for the kind of load I was doing. Of course, two R9290Xs in Crossfire can put a decent amount of power strain. Um, I'm pulling about almost 750 watts from the wall. My system was showing closer to about 650. So that's not bad putting, putting a decent amount of load on kind of the only amount of load I'd want to put on this unit. Our voltage regulation was, was tight. My um, power efficiency was really good in comparison to my titanium unit that I have. And that's amazing because now granted, there's an extra 50 watts on this unit that helps, but I mean, I feel like NZXT be using Seasonic as their OEM is a really smart move. Goes for some awesome performance. Also though, there was a couple of things I was a little bit surprised on. So first off, our power off idle was a little bit higher, but we're still under two watts. So that's kind of infinitesimal, doesn't matter. May have a little bit to do with that digital monitor that's built into the power supply. So that's kind of a, not really a big issue, but just something to take note of. But when I put that fan to full speed, I mean, 50 decibels is kind of on the loud side. And that would probably be the only performance knock I could even give it. But then again, most of the time, you're, if you use a silent profile in NZXT software, 
then it, you'll never hear the fan in this thing. So when I say it's a knock, it's not really a knock because you can profile the fan because of cam software and that negates the issue. So all over, I mean, this is a amazingly good power supply unit. I'm very, very happy with what NZXT has done. Let's go ahead and do a quick wrap up on this review. Okay guys, one more thing actually before I jump into the conclusion. Just, you know, so you can see here, here's, I've got this unit installed. Um, and yeah, there's that label upside down. I mean, could be a fluke, hard to say, but definitely an oddball thing. I get it, NZXT mostly, most of our cases have PSU covers, but that's, it's there. It's kind of something that I need to point out. But that said, um, there's a couple other things that I, I would love to see change. One is this, these cables. So we have an extension of two PCI connectors at the end of one cable. And I actually think it was Jay's two cents who did a study on that. But especially when it comes to like overclocking graphics cards, these can limit the amperage that a card can pull. And there's competition out there where it's individual PSU cables going from each connector so that there's no chance of overheating a wire or limiting the amperage that can be pulled because of the lesser, less amounts of wire there. So I feel like that's something NZXT should consider. Also, um, I really would like to see a four pin PSU connector that is on top of the eight pin. I like one of the eight pin connectors to be able to just be split down the middle in half to one singular four pin. Because right now I've got this extra four pins that I gotta have just kind of hanging there and that's kind of a pain. But otherwise, cable management was really easy with this power supply. That also made me happy. All right guys, now for real, let's wrap this guy up. This E850 unit is running $150 on the web right now. And you, it's got some pretty good availability. I mean, you can find on Newegg, of course you can get it from NZXT site. And the problem is, is that if you compare it to other 850 watt gold units, you're gonna be like, hmm, $150, isn't that a little pricey? I mean, some of the EVGA supernovas are running 100 bucks even, full gold, I mean, hard to beat that price. And so you might be scratching your head and thinking, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit pricey for this unit, but a digital power usage monitor that can actually give you power efficiency on like your individual components, like your graphics cards, like your CPU, that is super impressive. I mean, that is just fantastic. Here's the thing, guys, I mean, I've been trying to, to figure out ways to review power supplies for a long time. And to be able to take a power supply and, and or to be able to take even like a graphics card or a CPU and find a way to monitor just the power that it is using is darn near impossible. I mean, it's, it's, it's not that it's impossible, but you gotta get like really decent equipment for it. And maybe there's something out there that I am missing, but in other words, I can plug a kilowatt in and see what my whole entire system's using and try to roughly gauge that. But it's not the same as having the digital power monitor that NZXT has and will allow me to go, oh, this is what my graphics cards are using, bam. I mean, and looking very accurate. I mean, my, when I was running stress tests and seeing how much my two Crossfire GPUs were running, it was like, yeah, it seems like it's accounting for the entire card, and that was great. Guys, that is just a revolutionary thing for reviewers. All of us little guys who are out there trying to do these hardware reviews, NZXT just saved our bacon. If you are looking or even ever considering doing hardware reviews, you should definitely spend the extra 50 bucks to have this power supply. You have no idea when that could become super useful. You get a new graphics card sample somehow and you get lucky, and next thing you know, hey, I put power efficiency in there and I stood out compared to all the other little guys on YouTube or a website or you know wherever you're doing that review. Excellent awesome idea. May not be the most practical for everybody, but it is a great thing that NZXT did. So guys, I really, really do like this E850 power supply. NZXT overall did an amazing job, but there's some corners that they could clean up a little bit. 
hope they do as if they continue to expand on this series. So there you go, guys. Don't forget if you're wanting the cam software, um, I've got that in a uh, link in the description below. I'll have an uh, end screen thing that should pop up too if you're on the desktop. And then if you want a little more detailed pictures, a little more detailed review on just some of the imaging and stuff, check out my website, hwhound.com, and I will have a full written review for the unit there. I'll catch you later.